What's up guys? Today we are doing a real tour of downtown Breckenridge. So you're gonna get a local's perspective of what it's like to have a day basically on Main Street. So we're gonna go to some Pleche Cafe, get a burrito, maybe ride the gondola, maybe hike up to Sawmill Reservoir. I don't know, we're just gonna get into it and you're gonna get the local perspective. So let's do it. All right, so we are driving around downtown Breck right now looking for parking. Um, so I do have an employee pass to park for free for the day, but even on Saturdays, uh, the lot will get full. Um, tourists wanted to parking there because they just don't know any better and it's not really uh, marked very well. And then um, people who are employees when they're not working are not supposed to be parking there but they end up parking there anyway. So I'm gonna go to my other employee parking spot. Point is, uh, when you're here, try to get here earlier if you're gonna hang out downtown to try to find a spot. Um, there's plenty of parking. We got a parking garage by the gondola. We've got Main Street parking, um, but you do have to pay for it, so. But if you end up working in downtown Breckenridge, you can't get an employee spot. Um, but yeah, just a pain in the ass sometimes. Oh well. Can I get two local burritos sure. and uh, two cappuccinos with oat milk? All right, we got our coffees. Burritos are coming up next. We're gonna munch on those and then continue the downtown tour. So, just finished our burritos and coffee. And now we're gonna go to the dog park, um, which is right beside Carter Park. And we're gonna take Summit and he's gonna play with his friends. I don't know, something's pretty hit or miss with the dog park, but we'll see what happens. So something you have to do when you're on Main Street for good luck is you have to come and rub Tom's baby. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck Tom's baby is, but uh, Black describes it all here. Basically, a gold nugget was found by Tom, who was a uh, local miner in the area, and at the time was the largest piece of gold ever found at around 13 pounds. I don't know if it's still the largest, but this is basically a replica of what it looked like. So you gotta come and rub it for some good luck. So, for more good luck. Thanks, Tom, appreciate you. One of the coolest things about walking downtown Breck is you're literally looking right at Breckenridge Mountain and it's just so pretty, man. And then you're even looking at Imperial Chairlift all the way at the top there, which is the tallest chairlift in North America. So, views literally never stop here in Breck. Okay, so you're gonna notice as we're walking downtown Breck that uh, Breckenridge has a National Historic District. So a lot of these homes actually have historical guidelines to where you can't do certain things um, in terms of architectural design and, and renovations and things. So it really preserves the history here in downtown Breck. Gives it a very unique charm. So if you're a history buff and you kind of want a home just like that, uh, you can get it here. So. Very cool. See behind me, Summit Stage right there. Again, I've talked about it in many of my videos, but that Summit Stage will take you all around the county for absolutely free. Um, and that one actually free ride, right? So that one's actually specifically Breckenridge. So Summit Stage takes you around Summit. The Breck free ride is the one that takes you all around Breckenridge. So this is the town of Breck's dog park. Oh, Summit. And Summit's getting excited. So. Already. Hopefully it doesn't get into any fights with dogs. <laughs> but yeah, looking around, you've got Carter Park over there, which is a great sled hill for the family. If your kids aren't ready to ski yet, get some plastic sleds, go down the sled hill. Pavilion over there, they do weddings. They've got a volleyball court in the summertime. And then just behind Carter Park, you've got some great mountain biking trails, some of my favorite mountain biking trails. And then the best to use and all break, all the 10 mile range. So. Yeah, this dog park is sweet. So now we're at the gondola for the next stop on today's tour. So the gondola, pro tip, if you just wait till about midday on a Saturday, you basically won't have lift lines. There's a few people hopping on right now, but first thing in the morning, lift line is literally like a 30 minute lift line to get on the gondola. So wait a little bit on a Saturday. And then you've got the transfer station over there, uh, basically take a bus all around Breck or take the Summit Stage all around Summit County. So let's go hop on the gondola and see what's going on at Peak 8. All right, we're doing a whole tour of Breck today, so I'm not gonna be skiing, but uh, usually 
We've got a, a rental condo near the Snowflake chairlifts. I like taking that chairlift because it's not as well known. And it's a smaller chairlift, so that's usually our access to Breckenridge Mountain, but we're doing the gondola for you guys today. So let's do it. All right, guys, we made it to the gondola. Now we're heading up. And as you can see, Summit is on here. So if you got your Poochie with you, you can bring him along or her along and they can ride the gondola. Um, Summit used to be a little nervous, but now this is his favorite, right Summit? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, as we kind of pull out of the gondola station, views are incredible. You can see Down Valley towards Silverthorne. You can see Peak 10 and Breck. You can see Baldy behind us. The gondola goes over the Shock Hill neighborhood. Shock Hill residents have their own private gondola stop, which is super cool. Then after that, we go over the Cucumber Creek uh, or Cucumber Gulch. And sometimes we'll see moose there. There's the Nordic track there to do some cross country skiing, fat biking. And then we'll end up at peak seven and then peak seven to peak eight. And peak eight is uh, the main base area at Breckenridge where all the things are happening. So let's go check it out. All right, so we just noticed we got some people right here on the Nordic track. They got their cross country skis, they're skiing. Um, and this is public access to anybody who belongs to the Nordic center or you can pay for a day pass or whatever. So if you have any questions about what that entails, let me know and I will, I'll let you know about it. So, but yeah, the Nordic Center is freaking awesome. We're going through all these amazing homes in the Shock Hill neighborhood, got surrounded by pine forest. All right, so we're coming up on the Grand Lodge of Peak 7 and Crystal Peak. Grand Lodge, basically timeshares, great amenities in there if you're looking for some fractional ownership. Although I highly recommend Crystal Peak, full condo ownership there. I had a listing there last year um, and the owner actually would let me use the hot tub and the amenities that were there. So you've got a fitness center, you've got uh, outdoor hot tubs, you've got a steam room, which is super cool. And then you've got access to the Independence Super Chair. So I would go bring my skis, storm in the locker, do an open house for the day, go hit the gym, sauna. It was awesome. There is one for sale right now, totally remodeled. Um, so definitely check Crystal Peak out great spot. So that was peak seven. Now we're heading up to peak eight, which is the main base area here in Breckenridge. And as you notice behind me, there's tons of development going on here, mainly within the last 10 years. Uh, Breckenridge Grand Vacations have built a ton of new timeshare buildings here with great amenities uh, like the, the grotto, which has your sauna, steam, uh, gym. You've got ice skating rink on the outside. You've got uh, tons of bars and restaurants to visit. And then in the middle of all this, you've got a full ownership condo similar to Crystal Peak at Peak 7. This one's called One Ski Hill Place. I also had a listing there a few years back and had very similar amenities, probably a little bit more happening since it's in the main base area. And then Breckenridge Grand Vacations is planning to do a new development just to the left of One Ski Hill, which is that building. It's currently a parking lot right now, but I think what's happening is that they're going to be building some more timeshares there. So yeah, lots of stuff going on here. If you like the action, if you like the noise, if you like people, this is where you gotta be. All right, so we're here at the base. So you can see on a Saturday, this place is bumping. All the tourists are in town. This is mainly a, a tourist ski day, but it's great, man. Look at all the, the ski action that's going on. So Peak Gate's got most of your beginner terrain, all green runs. You've got uh, three different chair lifts here, five Colorado Super Chair and the Rocky Mountain Super Chair. Colorado and Rocky Mountain are gonna take you a little bit more than halfway up the mountain. And then from there, you can either take the T-Bar or six chair and Imperial chair up to the top. And then you've got, again, Grand Colorado, Breckenridge Grand Vacations. They have their uh, commercial spots here. So you've got Breck Sports, great for grabbing uh, ski rentals for the day. Wooler Cafe, so you can grab coffee, some lunch. Uh, Grand Colorado's got a great bar as well. All right, we just had a chance to talk to a local greeter here who rents a house out for a ridiculous price. I won't mention the price, um, but he's here six months out of the year and he was just telling us about how much he loves being out here and loves being, you know, working for the resort, which is great because he doesn't work for money anymore. So for him, it's just a vibe out here. He's hanging out, he's talking to people, he's got a big smile on his face. And how could you not when you got all this stuff going on? You've got ski here, you've got things for the kids. You've got outside bar right over there. You've got so many cool things. So yeah, Peak 8 is definitely the coolest place to hang out in Breck. All right, 
So about 500 feet from the gondola, we've got Mimi and Pins, which is the churro place here in town. And if you're looking for a sweet snack and break, this is definitely the place to come grab one. I'd argue it's even better than the crepe stand, which is pretty famous on Main Street. The reason I like it is because I'm personally a churro guy and there's never a line here. So Whoa. let's go get it. Oh, we got churro, dolce de leche and coffee cream. Oh, I'm stoked for this. So good, dude. All right, so. We're gonna do a little shopping and walking around, see all the restaurants and stuff. Um, so here we've got Carver's. You can get ski and bike rentals. And then you can't spend an arm and a leg shopping here in Breckenridge, which is kind of the norm now. But you do have a local thrift shop right here, which I've used to grab some gloves, got some uh, ski coats and things of that nature. So you can be a little thrifty if you'd like to be. And I'm pretty sure that one is a uh, nonprofit and all of the, um, I guess, uh, income that they get goes to uh, animal rescue so that's super nice too again we love our dogs out here so right now we're going past carboy winery and gold pan saloon so if you're looking for some great wine tasting or some great nightlife gold pan saloon is going to be the place to check out and it's got a great ambiance with the old historical mining feel so there's tons of like boutique shops and art galleries and things in breck but if you want something for the kids check out peekaboo toys on main street and it's not just for kids they've got like engineering toys puzzles board games all things for the family so check out peekaboo toys here in breck definitely a great little spot so you can see summit is pulling me because he knows that there's treats here so sit can you sit can you sit so most storefronts are gonna have your doggy treats. So Summit knows them by heart now and he just pulls me to all of them. So good boy, Summit. All right. All right. So as I mentioned before, tons of boutique shops and stuff is shopping for Jamaica. And what Summit's allowed in this one. So we're here, all right? Oh yeah, there we go. Look, <laughs> and someone's getting a treat. Some sit buddy, sit buddy. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're in the Riverwalk Center on Main Street in Breckenridge. And as I'm sure you noticed, my jacket's come off. I'm in a flannel now because the sun is shining and it's pretty toasty, actually. Riverwalk Center is super cool. Um, the town of Breck wrap all the trees up with Christmas lights. So you can't see it now, but at nighttime, all these lights light up. Super pretty, very scenic, cool place to hang out. And then a lot of families will come here because the river will freeze over. So kids can go play in the snow. Families will bring the dogs. Um, and then you've got the Riverwalk Center right across um, the Riverwalk Plaza here. And they do tons of shows, different events. They'll even have uh, different, um, what would you call it? Ski sales, like those like swaps. swaps, ski swaps, that's right. Yeah, so a ton of different things to do around here and one of the coolest, um, coolest parts about Main Street. So this is a day in the life of a local, basically. Um, but if you wanna know more stuff, the Breckenridge Welcome Center right behind me here, located right in the Riverwalk Plaza, is gonna be your go-to. They know everything that's happening in and around Breck. Also have public bathrooms and water fountains too, if you're feeling thirsty. So you can see we got people riding their bikes. So a couple of different shops will uh, rent out fat bikes that you can take. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And so, you can do fat bike tours. They'll even do ones to different breweries. So you can grab your fat bike and they do it downhill on most of Main Street. So you ride your bike from brewery to brewery and then get drinks. And when you're done, they'll uh, shuttle the bikes back, I'm pretty sure. And if not, you just ride the bike back. It's pretty flat, so, but super cool. Okay, so we're still walking the back streets um, just off of Main Street, um, but Kenosha Grill uh, and Tap House is a really great spot. They've got a nice outdoor deck. So on a day like today, you could chill out, bring the dog, grab a beer, have a burger. Kenosha is a great spot to hang out. All right, so we are walking up to Ollie's Pub and Grill. This is their relatively new spot. They used to have a spot on Main Street, um, but ended up buying the old dredge here on the pond along the Blue River. If you don't know what a dredge is, basically an old mining device that dredges up the mucky water underneath to mine for gold back in the day obviously repurposed now um, for food and commercial space. So Ollie's Pub and Grill, 
the best wings in town for sure. We've had many sport events at Ollie's Pub and Grill. Great to hang out with friends and again, literally the best wings that you can get in all of Summit County. So check out Ollie's. So we're heading over to Cool River Coffee House for our second coffee of the day. Uh, Stephanie and I are coffee snobs, so <laughs> we like to have our second round of coffee. Um, so we're gonna go do that. And it's a great little spot. Again, it's a little off the beaten path, just off of Main Street. They've got great wraps, great teas, and banger coffee, as well as a little uh, pastry fridge. So let's check it out. We are now in the Lasima Mall area where you can go get a burger at Empire Burger. They've got their famous sauces there. And then Stephanie is actually going to get a tan right now. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, look, more doggies. Uh, you're in the mountains, you probably can't catch a tan. Well, they've got a 24-7, uh, right, stuff. 24-7 tanning salon and you're basically Oh, uh, Steph's got to be tan for our wedding in uh, in a month from now, and yeah, we're actually getting married, so woohoo! Super exciting. I feel like so, the sun is so strong though; I could probably just let out. Yeah, the sun. actually, we're passing by another great spot, Mountain Flying Fish, for some of the best sushi in Summit. Look at that, awesome views. So Steph is yeah, she's gonna go catch a tan for 10 minutes, and then we'll continue on our tour. All right, so for our next tour on the stop, we're going to Breckenridge Ale House, which is arguably the only good pizza in Summit County, maybe that and like two other shops. So if you're looking for a good sliced pizza, very Jersey style slice, come to Breck Ale House. Stephanie, former New Yorker, approves, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. And we can sit outside with a doggy. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're in the village now, and as you can see, we got some mainstream shopping like Lululemon. Stephanie's a huge fan of Lululemon. She keeps telling me, yeah, it seems like it. She keeps telling me there's these sweatpants I need to buy from there. So for $150, $150 yeah, right. Um, we've got the cheese shop here, which is great for some charcuterie boards. One of our favorite spots is Bold. They are pretty much the only Mediterranean cuisine that you can get in town. Super healthy, super ethnic, very cool. And then a couple of other spots. You got the Continental Divide Winery Tasting Room. And then there is a Mountain Time Escape Room, which if you don't know what an escape room is, super cool. They basically just lock you and your friends in a room and you have to solve a puzzle to try to escape. And then you have like a time limit, I think. And after that hour runs out, that's it, you're stuck forever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, can, you can get out, but you have an hour to try to figure it out. So it's a fun challenge to do with your friends. Here, and then uh, walk over here got Quandry Grill and then a um, little crepe stand here if you want to get yourself a crepe and then we've also got access to a little pond here in the summertime they do some paddle boarding kayaking and then you've got peak nine right in front of us so Quicksilver chairlift and um, more base area stuff so yeah there you go oh dude I think I just like overstuffed my belly with that pizza <laughs> really good Oh, Summit, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go, let's go. All right, so there are a ton of different ways to end your day. You can do a little opera ski at Rocky Mountain Underground or Broken Compass or one of the many bars that we have here in Breck. But Stephanie and I are kind of past that point in our life that we're drinking late at night, so. Uh, our preference is to come to the Eclipse Theater and catch a movie. I'm pretty sure it's just one room that they have that they do like one movie a night or maybe two movies a night or something like that. But they also serve liquor and beer in there. So if you want to get your alcohol fix plus a movie, come check out the Eclipse Theater in Breck. And that's pretty much what we got for the tour today. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, if you want to know all about living in Breckenridge, feel free to call the number on the screen here. It's my personal cell. You'll talk right to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, well, I was going to show you guys, Summit loves the jerky stand. And usually when it's open, he'll usually get free jerky samples. So bring your dog and get jerky. But Summit, they're not here. They're not here. What the heck, man? What the heck?